makes us smile? The SEC shorts. And if you have not seen these guys, they are hilarious. And Tara Talmadge got a dose of that in real life talking to these guys earlier in the week. Hey, Tara. Hey, you know, these guys are absolute jokers. Arkansas has taken a lot of heat from people for the past several years, especially the last two years. But Joshua Sneed and Robert Clay have honestly been making fun of pretty much everyone for a while now in their SEC shorts. And they are so funny. And I had the chance, like you mentioned, to talk to them about what goes into the process of making those SEC shorts earlier this week. How much time goes into making one of your SEC shorts? Ugh, a lot. A lot for Robert, <laughs> not as much for me. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, we'll settle on an idea early Sunday morning, and then we just start from there. So we do everything within Sunday. So uh, as soon as we settle on an idea, Robert breaks away and starts on a script, and um, I'll try to find, like, actors in a location, and... Um, uh, then, you know, we got to shoot it. And then Robert stays up to like 3 a.m. editing it <laughs> while I'm like asleep or trying to get over like a Red Bull uh, yeah. uh, haze or whatever. So, um, so yeah, it, it takes all day Sunday, but, you know, it's got to go up Monday morning. So. What's it like for you guys changing pace, though, and talking about an Arkansas team that's actually like not not bad this year? I know that's what we were just saying. Uh, we were just talking about that. Uh, we we're answering stuff on Reddit. Is that it's um, as an Auburn fan, Arkansas fans will not leave me alone now. Like, it's not my fault they blew the whistle. I'm sorry. But yeah. Jeez. Yeah. But no, it's nice because you know we we know we uh, in the past couple of years we've made fun of like Arkansas and Tennessee a lot, but you know mm -hmm. they've had like some you know bright spots here and there like lately. Yeah. So it's been fun to kind of you know we want to put ourselves in the place of what the fans are feeling like at the time. So you know now that Arkansas fans are starting to get excited about their team again, it's been fun to make like positive Arkansas videos. So it's a wonderful life was a fun one too. That's one of our favorites. that was a good one. Uh, can, can we expect one maybe sometime soon about the, the fumble and digital no. gap? No, you can't. Maybe. You can't. Sorry. No. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I believe you heard him say he's an Auburn fan. Yeah, there's not going to be any sort of like, we got it wrong video. I had already mentally prepared myself like, okay, we're going to lose because it's a, it was a fumble. And then they said they did it. And I was like, okay. okay. I feel bad. Man. Arkansas, they do not feel bad. I don't feel bad, but like, uh, Arkansas fans have dealt with so much. And now yeah. they have like hope. And they're still just getting gut punched. They just, oh, I'm <laughs> so bad well you guys seem to have a lot of fun doing it what's it like knowing that so many people enjoy the work you're putting out it's so it's not fun to do it um <laughs> it's actually very stressful i'll be in the car <laughs> it's stressful and terrible but it's it, you know, it, like looking back it's fun to make them yeah. that is the fun part is seeing that like you know so many people enjoy them and stuff wouldn't you say yeah, I would think like, the, this is a wonderful life video is a great example. Like it was so hard to shoot. It took, it took it. We were so stressed out the whole day trying to make it. Didn't know if anybody was going to like it because it's kind of a weird concept. <laughs> but then it was just so great to see. We had so many kind, positive messages from Arkansas fans who were just kind of saying like, that's how I felt. You know, it was like it, it, when Arkansas football means so much to them, they've grown up with it. Their parents, you know, watched it. So that that actually gives you a nice second win. Like, OK, let's go out there and try the next one so it was just so great arkansas fans were so fantastic about that one uh do you guys get fans sending you different skit ideas people email us stuff my favorite is if we're at like uh like a bar or something the later it gets the more pitches we get from people walking by <laughs> the better those ideas seem <laughs> hey, i got a great idea so yeah it's yeah. no one's worse at pitching than my dad so your your ideas will not be anywhere close he's just like Nick Saban, go. Go. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Parachute. You you guys take it from there. You can just have that one. Do you guys ever get any anyone who's like giving you a hard time about the skit that you guys put together, the SEC short? Uh, usually, like SEC fans by now, we've been doing it for a while, so they kind of get that we make fun of everybody, yeah. and we don't like make fun of players or really go after people like that. So it's pretty pretty fair but I mean Arkansas fans we, we ragged on them pretty hard just over the years so it's nice to be able to give back and uh, you know, yeah <laughs> celebrate with them you know I'm sure they appreciate that as well <laughs> do we get any sneak peek into what you guys are working on right now uh, yeah we're actually trying to work on that we were the one we have for SEC nation for the SEC Network this week. Mm -hmm. um, Robert just came up with, like, last night, I guess? 
Uh, no, like three hours ago. Okay, it's three fresh. Hours. This is hot <laughs> off the presses. It's so fresh. So yeah, go ahead. Tell it. Uh, it's it's going to be uh, so. So Nick Saban has an undefeated record against his former assistants, and so Josh is going to play Kirby Smart, walking up to like a carnival, like a fair carnival game. And all he has to do is throw this ball and hit Nick Saban's head, but he, he can't do it. He can't do it. So yeah. it's like a metaphor, you know, like we're deep like that. We're deep like that. <laughs> so we're going we're to start working on that one. We got to go buy some hay bales and a carnival hat. <laughs> Those guys are so much fun to talk to. And by the way, my favorite part was definitely when he pulled up the Darren McFadden jersey. That was an LSU jersey. I'm pretty sure that's probably every Arkansas fan's worst nightmare right there. <laughs> that broke my heart when I saw that and I was like, no! They also have a fairy godmother one and if you haven't checked that one out, that one's pretty funny too. It was when Arkansas wasn't very good, but it was definitely hilarious. Tara, thanks so much. Probably one of the funniest interviews you've ever done. All right.